They were going to defer until the second half. Even have to 
Fourth down, Vance going for
Fourth down from the one yard line for Hardy. Lance with the stop. Fourth down.
Four seconds left in the game. Alright, Pat Man, Matt Mark, yelling the varsity. 
It was Marquise Nelson. A uh, huge play, interception at the end of the game, sent Hardy to the state championship 2014 win. What happened on the I mean, I knew it was going to be a jump ball. Number 10, they told the receiver. So all I did was go ahead and line up the back of the end zone because you got to take a shot, man. So I was thinking, like, if you throw it in there, I, I can't give him a chance to catch it, man. I got to go get it. I, I couldn't just leave the game and I had to go take it. And as you can see, 14 to 20, man, we go. Now, tell me, how did it feel when you got that ball? I, I can't even explain it, man. I really can't. I can't. I can't. It was great. It was great. That was awesome, man. So, tell me, man. State championship, first time in 30 years. What, how, what is it going to take for Harding to bring the big trophy back here to LA? I mean, practice hard, you know, rest up over the weekend, try to get healthy as we can. You know, some good players went down tonight. And, you know, just hope they get healthy, you know, get ready, start practicing, practice hard, go back, get out one day, watch film, and get ready, man. All right, so they call that the turn-up chain right there. So go ahead and turn up the night, because you deserve it, man. Great job. Congratulations. All right, Pep Man Matt Marr, Carolina Varsity here. Harden head coach Sam Griner, 20 to 14, hell of a game. <laughs> Over Vance, put the Rams in the state championship. Coach, I got to ask him last play, what was going through your mind? When we defended it or when we had it go up? Just the take last me through. Game. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> well, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. This team's been there many, many times, you know, yeah. Van and they're, they're a fighting group, and, you know, they were playing on a super high level. We had some key guys go down, and people rose up to the occasion. But I believed in these guys. Yeah. Um, going at the end, I really was very confident. I, believe, I mean, I know our foundation is firm; it's built upon a rock, and we can't grow unless it's built on something that's that firm. That's right. And uh, I believed in. I mean, I wasn't nervous. I was just we just we just in the same play. We were in the same play like 15 times in a row, and I was like, you know what? I don't know. I don't care. They know what we're in right there. I believe in my guys. I ain't trying to trick nobody, no nothing. At that time, I said, my guys are going to pull it out. And guess what? You come around with the daggone turn-up chain to finish off the game. That's How right. perfect is that? That's awesome. The turn-up chain. I would say knock it down, but you know what? We need to wear a little bit dazzle. We didn't have one. Right? <laughs> you know? So taking the Rams from three years ago, when um, I met you here when I was coaching, to where you are now, man, how does it feel? And, and just going through the process and – the gratification. I know it's not over yet. But, mm -hmm. You know, just take a second and talk to us about how you feel about going from there to where you are now. <laughs> well, this is an emotional game. I, I'm gonna tell you that. You know, I spent a lot of years in Vegas, yeah. and I tell you what, it's like the perfect story is coming out the way it needed to be. The first, the first game we went against. You know, that, we'll talk about the playoffs a little bit, but. When I first got here, remember, I taught here before I coached. Yes, you did. Yep. And uh, there was something special in these kids, and I fell in love with them. I don't know how to explain that. I mean, I'm, I'm playing pickup basketball with them, and we're rolling out the ball like we ain't supposed to do sometimes with feed, but <laughs> we were getting right, and I'm battling with them. And, right. and these kids had something inside them. I was like, you know what? They need to give a shot. Yep. And then the principal told me, and the, the administration down there, they support us so much right now. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? It ain't going to be easy. But if they trust trust the process and what we're trying to do, we'll do what? Move mountains. Yes. Amen. What is happening now? That mountains are being moved. They yes, said it they couldn't are. be done. And it wasn't easy. We said we weren't going to be a one and nine team. We ended up being one and ten. But the foundation was laid. Right. The next year, we started grinding, grinding, and we saw something we can win. And we went to the playoffs. So we get beat by East Force. So I get whooped up, and then now these kids grew. Yep. They forgot about us. Like I said, you know, they felt, they felt, we, you know, they buried us. They failed to realize we were seeds. Right. Now watch us grow, and look what they are, them big oak trees right now. You know, yeah. it's, it's blooming, and everything is being glorified on him. That's what we're built on, Amen. and it's amazing. But how, how amazing the story is this? We go against Porter Ridge. Mm -hmm. Porter Ridge is one of the most amazing teams. They're good. Yeah, they are. And I was like, my gosh, well, how do we get a matchup like that? <laughs> then it goes, then it goes, East Forsyth. Who put us out last year? They East did. And I got so much of a background with Vance. Like, I coached her for many years, but my daughter was being born. They had a choice they had to make, and they displaced me. They displaced me, but they put me here. They think they did, but you know who put me here? That sucker right there. And it was he knew what was happening. It's got nothing to do with me. It's got all to do about him. He laid that foundation down, and look at this, what's grown in him. 
It's amazing. It's it amazing. Is amazing. And right now, Scotland and Hoggett are in overtime, so we don't even are know. Are they who really? Yes. Oh, wow. We don't even know Hopefully who they play. play. Tell them to go to 16 overtime. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, just thoughts on next week, man. What are you going to do to get ready? Just follow the same plan? Anything special? Yeah, that's what we do. I got to, you know, I got to put on the tape and. And see what the, I don't know a lot about neither one of them. I got a little, you know, a little bit when we played uh, West Met because they played um, Scotland County. But you know, they got a whole different regime now. They they're bumped and bruised like we are a little bit. Yeah. Um, Hoggard, I know they're going to be tough as no, you know, tough as nails. I don't know a lot about them though. We'll see. Yeah. Got to call my my people to get like all 50 films. Right <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a joke. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. right. Well, great job, man. Congratulations. Hey, so man. proud of you. Yeah. Hey, we'll, we'll, man. we'll see Thanks you next for week. Believing in oh, no time. Hey, you believing. know it. Thank you. you. Know. Appreciate it, man. How'd that little interview go at the beginning? All right, Pet Man, Matt Mark, Kellen, the varsity here. Quarterback Raheem Murphy also plays some DB tonight. Accounted for all three touchdowns in the big win 20 to 14 over uh, Vance, put Harding in the state championship. Uh, first thing, Raheem running the football. You've got two touchdowns tonight. What did you see on those two plays? Uh, they were shifting to our tight end uh, sets, and um, I seen the linebacker shift over so hard, and I just uh, I saw my cutback lane. And on the second one, I was supposed to hand the ball off, but I saw the DN, he bit hard, so I just, just tried to make a play. Yeah, and then on that touchdown pass, it gave you the big margin um, on first down. First down yeah. What did you see on that one? Uh, we, it was first down, so uh, we knew they was going to go for the run. Right. We thought They thought we were going to try to run the clock out, and, I, and my boy Rachel just made a play, you know? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, 78 yards on that, too. An awesome pass. Uh, tell us about being the leader on this team, taking this Ram team to the state title game from where you were three years ago when I was here trying to coach a little bit. <laughs> just talk about the transition and um, how the program has grown from then. Uh, it's just faith, you know. Um, God God playing all this out, you know. I never knew I was going to play quarterback. And, you know, it, just, it took year, it took two, 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 three years, but now, mm -hmm. now we're on the rise and uh, we got to finish. Amen to that, man. So what's going to be the key next week? We just found out you're going to play some Hoggard out of Wilma. Hoggard? Yeah. So uh -huh. what's this team got to do to get a state title back here on the Allegheny uh, I don't really know about them. I'll watch them. But uh, we just got to keep doing what we do, make them stand up, and just give it all, man. Just, just leave, give it all on the field, man. Amen to that, man. Well, you blame great. Congratulations <laughs> for a West champion, Harding Rams, led by this man, Brahim Murphy. Great job. Thank you.